Hello, everyone. Welcome to GDNT and ISO GPS for learning bootcamp from rookies to stars. My name is Michael. This is module 26, simultaneous requirements and separate requirements. Simultaneous requirements or SIM IEQT is the default requirement per ASME Y 14.5. And this requirement only used to position tolerance or profile tolerance. Simultaneous requirement, it means if there are multiple features which are used at geometric tolerance, either position tolerance or profile tolerance with the same data and with the same MMB modifier, then you are allowed either consider these multiple features as a single pattern or as a separate features. Let's have a look of this join here. Here's the join. Datum A is a bottom surface. Datum B is this hole. And these two holes has position tolerance same datum and the same MMB modifier. As we have learned in the previous module, since there's datum shift, that means the datum feature is allowed to shift to the left or to the right if there's a gap between the AME of this datum feature and datum simulator. If this datum feature moved to any direction, these two holes, as well as these four sides, will move together in the same direction with this datum feature. This is what we call datum shift. So from here we know these two holes will move together and is treated as a pattern, a single pattern. This is why we said simultaneous requirement is the default. And this is exactly matching the actual assembly function. If we want to assemble these parts with three bolt, that means all of these three bolts need to mount it inside. So we need to use simultaneous requirements as a default. What about if we only use one of these holes? We use this one and another one is a backup. We don't use it. Or we can use this one, the other one is backup. In this situation, we won't want to use the simultaneous requirement. We would like to use the separate requirement. So we need to put SEPIQT here. Once there's a SEPIQT, that means each host will be required separately to datum A, B, and C, or the datum shift can be applied separately to each tolerance feature. SIMIQT could be also used another situation that the tolerance feature is not fully constrained by the datum. You see here, datum A is a bottom surface. Datum B is a center hole. The tolerance feature only used datum A and B. This position tolerance will allow this hole rotate along datum B. Since there's still some degree of freedom, or at least there's a rotational degree of freedom. And as we know, SIMIQT is the default. 
So these two holes will be treated as a single pattern. They will rotate along the datum B at the same time. If this hole ro rotate and another hole will rotate at the same direction, they will keep the basic position and basic angle to each other. If we put SCPIQT here, that means these two holes will rotate along the datum B separately. This position will not control the relationship between two of them, or this angle will not be controlled by this position anymore. We have learned SIMIQT and SEPIQT in SME standard. What about ISO GPS? According to ISO GPS 5458, we could use combined zone CZ and separate zone SZ to represent the similar function or similar requirements. Separate requirements is similar to separate zone. The ISO GPS use separate requirement as a default. If there's two holes here with the position reference to datum A and B, that means these two holes should be treated separately or they are allowed to rotate along the datum B separately. Separate requirement or separate zone is the default. This SJ, you could put it here or even you don't put SJ here, it's still separate. But according to ISO GPS, it's always required to put either SJ or CJ if there's a chance of misunderstanding. So we should put SJ here if we want separate zone. Again, this is pretty similar to SEPIQT. If we want a simultaneous requirement or if we want to combine them into a single pattern, we should use CJ. CJ means combined zone. If there's CJ here, these two holes will be considered as a single pattern. These two torrents zone will combine together and the reference to datum A and B and also keep the basic relationship to each other. As we have mentioned, SIM IQT and SEP IQT will be different if there's a datum shift or there's a degree of freedom. The pattern can rotate. But what about all of the six degree of freedoms are constrained, are fully constrained? There's no more degree of freedom. In that situation, SIM and SEPIQT has no difference, or CJSJ has no difference. Let's have a look at this join here. Datum A, Datum B, and Datum C, same. The only difference is there's no datum shift here. There's no datum shift here. Since all of this degree of freedom has been constrained by datum A and B and C, and this path should not shift or displacement because there's no datum shift. Usually we are located paths with expanding pin or with tapered pin. 
So this path cannot move. This path will be located to data A, B, C uniquely. There's only one position, no other choice. So that's why you put SIM IQT or you put SCP IQT here. There's no difference at all. Same thing for CJ and SJ according to ISO GPS. Even you put CJ here or SJ here, there's no difference because this path has been fully constrained to the datum ABC with all of the degree of freedom constrained. Let's have a quick review of this module. Simultaneously requirement and a separate requirement is SME Y 14.5 requirement and the SIM is default. According to ISO GPS, SJ is default. There's two scenarios that SIM or SAP make difference. Number one, the pattern with common datum and applied with MMB modifier. Number two, the pattern are not fully constrained to the datum. If all of the six degree of freedom are constrained, then SIM and SEP has no difference or CJ and SJ has no difference. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next module.